my wall. Okay, here we go. What the fuck's going on? Let's turn the volume up in this bitch. It's happening, baby. Here we go. Damn, son. Where'd you find this? Five dollar donation from NGLP511. Um, keep going strong on your channel. And this is my first Etika stream. By all means, man. Welcome Mr. to the stream, Iwata? baby. Welcome to the stream. Hey, Mr. Iwata? Yo? Wow. Uh, yes, we're ready to start filming the Nintendo the digital event for E3 2015. Okay, thank you. I oh, will shit. head directly to the stage. Directly? <laughs> Yo, Iwata, what's going on here? Satoru Iwata. Looking clean, man. Apparently he lost the weight, too. Reggie? Oh, Reggie in puppet form? Nintendo 62, Nintendo 63, Damn. Nintendo 64. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Puppet body Fanny is Alex, ready. Fanny Alex, going out of that bridge. <laughs> the donation rate is about to Oh, man. Infinity Alice, thank you, man. So, so you're from England. Okay. Yo, man, Reggie's flexing after he killed, um, after he killed the leaker. After he killed the smash leaker, yo, he's like, yo, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta get back in the gym. <laughs> Who's this? Damn, son, where'd you find this? Five dollars from Prince of Flots. Thank you, man. Thank you. Five dollars. Shigeru Miyamoto. He looks a lot younger in Muppet form than he does in real life, bro. Shigeru looks a bit older than that. Yo, this is awesome. <laughs> this is awesome. Nintendo puppets? What the Mr. hell? Miyamoto? Oh, yes. Reggie's OP as hell right now. Okay, ready whenever you are, gentlemen. I just have to remember my words. <gasps> That's definitely not Miyamoto's voice. <clears throat> he can barely speak English. <laughs> what is that? Huh? Huh? Look, look. <clears throat> what the hell? <clears throat> Reggie, Falco. Wait a minute, he has Falco's head. Where is it? Falco, wait a new Starbucks. Oh, it's a new Starbucks. A new Starbucks. Yo, what's going on? Where'd you find this? Metallica from Quinton. Metallica, you're amazing. You're keeping the good work from Australia. Thank you, man. Holy shit. Yo. Australia, yo, yo, we in here. Brand new Star Fox, yo. Let's go. Yo. Hey, Fox, do a barrel roll. Yeah, come on. Do a, do a barrel roll. Yeah. Barrel roll. I can. A barrel roll. Check this out. What the hell, Nintendo? World premiere of a brand new Star Fox. <laughs> nigga said that ain't Falco. Nah, that ain't Falco, nigga. That's Reggie. This is on 3DS? It's on 3DS? Yo, this is on 3DS, baby. Or is it? Oh, no, no. I, I jumped the gun. If, if it was on 3DS, it would be on the... It would show the 3DS borders. Nigga said that ain't Falco. Nah, no, that ain't Reggie. What the hell? A new Star Fox in the building, man. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Could, could the R-Wing always turn into a goddamn walk? I mean, I knew it could turn into a, like a tank, but holy crap. Yo, this looks amazing. Yo, let's go. Please tell me this is coming out this year. Please tell me this is coming out this year. This year, please. Oh my god, dudes, are you seeing this shit? Insane Star Fox Wii U title. Let's take the offensive. Are we about to see some gameplay? Like some actual Star Fox Zero! Yo! Holiday 2015! Star Fox coming out this year! I hope your bodies are ready. I hope your bodies are ready, man. Because mine definitely is a Fushimi Inari shrine. I've had a relation with this shrine since I was a child. Oh my god. Because of that, I felt that I was always protected, as if it's my guardian angel. What? When I was a child, 
There was a TV show about fighter planes called Thunderbirds. That inspired me to make a game that had cinematic elements, with each character having a distinct personality and their own drama. A lot of Japanese that influence would be in this apparently. In the dialogue and appear in scenes like where a cool character and enemies would appear. Yo, so Miyamoto's behind this project too, huh? When it came to talking about details regarding how to make the main characters look and feel, we talked about all sorts of types of people. But ever since I was in school, I drew comics with caricaturized humanoid animals and decided that the characters in this game should be based off animals. I then talked about it with Emma Morrison, the designer, and we thought about the fox image. Then I thought, let's try making a fox the I main character. I know so many people are excited. We're entering City now. I know so many people must be excited. There's an arch. You want to go under it, right? That's the kind of game I wanted to make. Thinking about the shrine, this place is known for the row of arches. So we went with this idea to create a game where you would fly through different arches. What the hell? And this is all influenced from his childhood. Fox is a game where you use a control. This is all influenced like from the his childhood. Find on a plane. When you fly Damn, a real plane, son, you where'd you find this? The control stick to fly up, right? The Damn, Similarly, son, you where'd you use find the gyro this? On the game pad to look all around and feel Damn, really immersed son, in the game. where'd you find this? We'd like people to play as if they are flying Thank a real you, plane. Thank you, all three it's of really you. Exciting. Holy crap! That happened so fast. I'm sorry. I, I I'm sorry. I couldn't read your messages so fast. With its two screens, we experimented Holy crap. with gameplay with ideas before this iteration of Star Fox. There were two screens that each serves a specific purpose. For example, we've tested using one screen for a more cinematic view and the other for gameplay. What? So you can see the inside of the cockpit? And it's a big reason we decided to make this game. It's a cockpit view, so it feels what like you're the in the cockpit hell? like this. You that is amazing. moving the gamepad around. In the other Star Fox games, you play by controlling your plane in third person on one screen. This time, the game world is shown on the TV and you can focus in to aim on the gamepad. By using two screens, you can see yourself flying in third person on the TV while shooting down at the enemies below you from the cockpit view on the gamepad. What the hell? Yo! Experience. So that's something I hope people can check out. Yo, that is insane. On the Nintendo 64 system, you had to use a lot of buttons. But now, with the Wii U gamepad, you can use two sticks to do things like speed up and flip around. What? There's only one button to fire all the different weapons. So there are four buttons left, and with that, we thought, why not use these buttons to make the R-Wing transform? Yo! Use one button to do flips, and the other for a U-turn. So it's buttons that now control the maneuvers, rather than... The R-Wing transforming into a walker that was in Star Fox 2. Oh, it was? Okay, Since so that was that always a thing. didn't make it out, I'm glad we were able oh, okay. to have it appear. The oh, transformation really? mechanic actually looks like it and makes a lot of sense. There's the Landmaster. Yep. Landmaster. And also the Gyro Wing, which adds Damn, a lot of breadth dude. to gameplay. With it, you can perform a lot of tasks as Fox. You can also play different stages with other vehicles, too. So I hope you'll have fun trying out courses with different vehicles, even after you clear the game. Holy crap. So every level, I guess, is open to like using different vehicles to play through it? This is pretty serious. Past, but it's not a part four or part five. It's not a remake, either. So we named it Star Fox Zero this time. Star Fox the subtitle Zero. Zero was taken from how the kanji character looks in calligraphy. Star Fox is based off of the Japanese culture that inspired me, so I wanted people around the world to see this cool kanji character in the logo. So that's the main reason he did it, because it looks fucking cool. It, well, it works it for me, Miyamoto. Fox tail. We wrote the character with a brush and added. It the works logo. for me. It looks cool. Yeah, it does. I'll admit, man, the logo is badass. It's badass, and it looks like a fox's tail. Like, really cool. 
Nintendo always makes these directs as hype as, hype, as, Damn, hype as they can. Damn, son, where'd you find Nintendo's this? digital event for E3 2015. I'm Reggie Fisame, president of Nintendo of America. Oh. We began today having a little fun. William, thank you. Thank you, William. In the Star Fox universe. They're doing a lot of coverage on this shit. William, $20, that man. Holy crap. Was more than just fun. It also represents a theme you're going to encounter consistently throughout Nintendo's experience for E3. That okay. theme is transformation. Recently, Mr. Iwata has made several announcements on how Nintendo itself is being transformed. Robots in disguise. Expansion to universal theme parks, mobile devices, and our new dedicated game platform, codename NX, which Ooh. we'll tell you more about NX. in 2016. Oh, come and on, Reggie. Our purpose is more immediate. So, dedicated the game the platform. You'll be enjoying right inside NX. your Nintendo gameplay. He in mentioned the it. Months. He actually if mentioned there's it. There's a secret to the longevity of Nintendo franchises. It is transformation. We never let them stand still. Nope. There always has to be something new, something compelling. And that even applies to the game Super Mario Brothers, which is celebrating its 30th anniversary in 2015. To say he's been transformed over the years is obvious. But along the way, he's also transformed gaming. From establishing the platforming yeah. genre on the NES to the 3D world, of Super Mario 64. Yeah. Later this Big year, highlights. Super Mario Maker will take the next step by turning the essence of game creation over to you, our fans. That Mario Maker now, looked insane. I don't even like Mario. become creators as you build your own Mario levels that can be shared globally with friends. And who knows, maybe even I'll be playing and of course beating your latest creation, finally. You ain't Nothing beating in shit. our history has transformed our franchises quite like Amiibo. And this as dude could even be hungry this week, there are more new Amiibo on the way and more games for them to inhabit. In fact, right now, let's see how Amiibo are about to show up in a totally unexpected way. Okay, then. So... Reggie is giving us a breakdown of exactly what Nintendo's approach is, transformation, changing, so and adapting. So this year's Nintendo digital event, the team put me right to work. So I'm pleased to be here with Karthik Bala from the Vicarious Vision studio at Activision. And Karthik, we've got some great news to share. Yeah, so, you know, the hallmark of the Skylanders franchise has always been deliver brand new innovation and the highest quality game experience. For the first time, we're bringing a whole new toy category to life. We're bringing vehicles to life this year with our new game, Skylanders Superchargers, and really blending it to this epic vehicle. Skylanders. Adventure. But there's more to it, right? We've got two Are some of you guys into the Skylanders? So introducing Turbocharged Donkey Kong. What? And his vehicle, the Barrel Blaster. We also have Bowser. This is Hammer Slam Bowser and his vehicle, the Clown Cruiser. Bowser is always my favorite. I don't know why people say that I look like Bowser and at times act like Bowser. You do. As Whoever said that is as accurate as, hell. as you have the, the various vehicles, what happens? So they have complete move sets and upgrade trees of, um, of powers and abilities, some of which are natural things that you would expect, like Donkey Kong throwing barrels and Bowser slamming down his hammer, but also really unexpected moves that harken back to elements of lore within the 30 years of history of these characters. What else can, uh, can these figures do? If you put the figure on a Skylander's portal, they act as a Skylander, but you can twist the base and switch it to Amiibo, and it can be used as an Amiibo in another Nintendo game. So again, these nice. characters, these vehicles, only playable on Nintendo. Okay. I like so the content, man. As you go through this collaboration with Nintendo, a company that is very protective of its franchises, that always likes to have total control, what was that like in terms of working with us to bring these fabulous experiences to life? We're such 
big like Nintendo fanboys, and you know, I think we may have been a little too cautious at first. Bowser we wanted to have a Skylanders, form of Bowser man. where he became really Some big, and you know, we pitched the idea of using Giga Bowser, and they and uh, and this is when the Nintendo team said, no, 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 do something different, you know, something new, and we created Magma Bowser, right. you know, who's never been seen before, and you know, this his his fire breath just becomes this insane flamethrower. We we wanted to uh, set the Koopa on fire, and uh, and they said use dry bones. Right. And so like dry bones, and they, they said, well here's all the material for dry bones, and it was just, you know, building on top of that, and uh, we just didn't. What the you hell? Know, we didn't think that we were going to get away with all of this stuff. Damn, dude. This looks pretty extensive. Thank I mean, to be so honest, I'm not sharing this information. But this looks cool. And throughout the this entire week, we're going to be sharing more and more information. You and your team are going to grace us at Nintendo Treehouse Live, and there's going to be a lot more information to share. I'm super excited. Fantastic. Thank you. Mm. I think it's interesting. I wonder what's next. Hey. 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 Water, you don't dance? Alright, let's go. Hey. Let's go. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Hello from Dashy10. Notice me sent by a big fan from California. Shout outs to you, Dashy. Thank you for that donation, man. It's really appreciated. Really, really appreciated. What the hell is this? Got like a new iteration of like four swords. This looks cool. So a three-player co-op. Can you play online though? Holy crap. When you and the squad get two turns, throw <laughs> the comments here. <laughs> when you and the squad get two turns. Indeed. Like a real legit co op experience. I wonder what the purpose is of them standing on top of each other like that. I guess to reach like different levels. A new four swords, yeah man. And this is three people. So fall 2015, we got another Zelda title. Another one focused on co-op. If you never played four swords before, it was really fun when you have a lot of other people playing it with you. Oh, here we go. Something else. Hello, I'm Aonuma, the producer of Zelda. Today, I would like to talk about The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes, the latest Damn. Nintendo 3DS Zelda game. I have the game's director, Shikata, here to introduce it with me. Hello. I wanted to focus on multiplayer and co-op. Multiplayer in past Zelda games was more competitive, much like a party game. Everyone would gather to play to see who would get the most rupees. This time, I wanted players to cooperatively enjoy more serious Legend of Zelda gameplay elements, like Whoa, solving okay. puzzles and going through dungeons. The 3D visuals of A Link Between Worlds, great feature. Especially yeah, in terms I, yeah, I heard of a lot of good things about that game. So I wanted I to lot incorporate that into the multiplayer. You guys like that game too? Uh, a Link Between Worlds? Because I heard so much positive acclaim about it. So I wish I got it. That's to why we came up with the totem mechanic. How's the audio? Is the volume good? Is my mic good? The is their volume good? Let me know. Damn, son, where'd you find this? I don't. You can carry your too. friends on your my shoulders and reach higher places. That's so, so you climb on. Was too tall. So we decided three was the better choice. Okay, so you can do different things to, and you can do the call to bring them in. Single player. Okay. There are supporting doll-like characters. There are two Damn, of them. son, where'd you find and this? And you can beat a level by switching between Link and these two dolls. Um, Etika, please read and my other message. The story starts in a kingdom that is just full of fashion-savvy people. Thank you, man. 
but we're watching Man, a direct at the same time. Out something has happened. There's information for so us to get King from this whole thing. I appreciate the help. donations, but so no, I don't want to talk over them. So you know, we have to take to in this information as we go. And so it begins. Using items to defeat enemies and conquering dungeons is a familiar staple from other Zelda games. What the hell? So it should appeal to fans of the series. This time, there's also a fashion element, where you collect items to create new outfits with new abilities. By buying and equipping these different clothes, your abilities change. So uh. the same courses will offer different experiences depending on what you wear. Okay, I'll turn my mic volume down, then you can turn your volume up. I think playing with people in online multiplayer where you can't see their reactions is fun too. I hope people invite others to try out the game with them as well. What the when hell? When playing in multiplayer, we frequently hear Mr. Aonuma <laughs> yelling excitedly about the game. <laughs> I have the loudest voice on the team. I bet. Also for Nintendo 3DS, we have another new game. Last year, we had the Wii U version of Hyrule Warriors. Okay. Here we go. We're now we're now developing something. a 3DS version. What? This game is a reimagining of the Wii U game. Oh, really? It will include okay, so. all the DLC characters from that one. Ah, leaks. Leaks indeed. We are also adding additional characters and stages from The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Waker, to Very expand nice. the gameplay. Got fucking Tetra coming in there. And King Harkinian coming in. Hyrule Warriors is not like the Zelda games I create. It is an experience only Koi Tecmo can really bring to life. Yo, man. Damn. I cannot believe this I is coming to video. I hope you videos, will though. enjoy Hyrule Warriors Legends as well as The Legend of Zelda Triforce Heroes on Nintendo 3DS. Yo, of course, man. Even though we don't have Le Zelda Wii U, this is still really good news. Two new upcoming Zelda titles for this year. And finally, we have the reveal of the trailer. This was what the leak was beforehand. So, I mean, really hype shit. Really hype shit. Damn, this would have been so hype to see for the first time, but it still is hype. It still is, man. I really need to I really need to get my hands on this game. I really, really do. Like holy shit. Right, now that Tetra's in there, I swear to God, man, I'm going to get my hands on this because... And then King Harkinian? Got King Harkinian putting in work in goddamn Hyrule Warriors with 3DS. It's insane, dude. Everyone's like, the leaks, the leaks, the leaks, the leaks, the leaks, the leaks, the leaks are on fire! Yeah, the leaks were definitely real, man. How, how do you doubt the leaks being real? The re what was what happened is this trailer was leaked. The trailer itself was leaked, and people still doubted it. Like, I mean, hey, <sighs> damn, nigga. Hmm. What the hell you do that to Reggie? Oh wait, this is that blast ball game that we saw. Oh, wait, no. What? 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 No! New fucking Metroid on 3DS. Holy shit, Metroid Prime Hunters 2. Oh wait, wait, what's going on? What's going on? This was a Metroid game. We weren't told it was a Metroid game in the Nintendo World Championships. Holy shit. Metroid Prime Federation Force. What is this? 
Is this like... Like, what kind of coverage is this going to be? Holy shit. My nigga Morph? <laughs> Wait a minute, don't tell me there's Amiibo support. Don't tell me there's Amiibo support for Mario Maker. Fried Emblem? Okay, more information on Fire Emblem if... I wasn't looking into any of the Japanese stuff because I didn't want to get spoiled, to be honest with you, man. I did not want to get spoiled. But, um... Fire Emblem Fates? You are my child now. Now, this is serious. once and for all, no more games. To the death. Here I come. I'll show you. I won't surrender. Yo. Now pay for your betrayal. Yo. But I want to look at you. There is only one punishment. The sentence is death. Try to be at peace. Fire Emblem Fates is what this is going to be called in here in America. Holy shit. Kill me if Fire you Fire Emblem Fates. But do it as yourself. What the hell is going on here? Damn, title change. And here we go, more Shin Megami Tensei X Fire Emblem. Let's see here, man. Are they gonna have any kind of concept for a release date, maybe? Like any any idea of a release date? Damn, man, this looks so fucking like <laughs> this. Just looks so J-pop, my dude. Like, holy crap! This is from a power. This looks way more Shin Megami Tensei than it does Fire Emblem. Yeah, this looks like a Mirage that horse porn? What the hell, dude? That bestiality? <laughs> Yo, you just need to stop. Stop it. Stop it, please. Stop. What? Yo. Yeah, it, it seems way more persona than, um, more, not persona, way more influence on the side of things. Is anyone recognizing any Fire Emblem characters? In this? I mean, it's still a type, though. I'm not, I'm not doubting that. It's still a type. Someone said some vocal word ripoff. This is so anime, it hurts. Someone said I'd fuck every character in that game. What the hell, dude? Commas in the building. My Weeaboo is activated. Yo, these commas are hilarious. Prom is in the game? Did you guys see Really, Nintendo? They parodied Iwata with the bananas. If there's one thing that Nintendo does right, it's it's their humor factor in these directs. Prom is there? Oh, okay. Oh, shit! Okay, so we have more Xenoblade Chronicles X information. I'm still hyped about this game. I mean, it's it's kind of like sucky that in Japan it already kind of like pretty much is all open. But I didn't really look at anything that would like spoil me. So I'm still hyped about it. I'm still very, very hyped about it. Oh wow, so we actually have um, a lot of translation on the game done now. It seems like it's way more... Man, this music, man. So the trailers are definitely more Americanized now. Or at least westernized. Damn, son! Yo, Salwano!
Final Hero Yuki on the track, man. Wait a minute, this is coming out this year? All right, so December 4th for Xenoblade Chronicles X in the United States. I don't know about the other regions, but in the US, it's coming out there. So more Animal Crossing stuff now. I'm Nook. Why does everybody hate this guy? I never got a chance to try this game out. I should probably, I should probably put my hands on it eventually. But I heard it eats up your time. Like, I mean, from what I heard, people tell me, like, this game is addictive, man. Like, if, the first iteration, at least on the 3DS. Like, if you. Like, if you pick it up, you Oh, the Amiibo cards! I remember hearing about this. Someone said, where's Monado, boy? <laughs> Happy home designer. Oh, okay then. Alright, so there a lot of games are being put out there right now. World premiere of what? Oh, okay. game devours your soul that's the only reason why i'm scared to try it out because i i can tell that if i get into this game i'm gonna have a hard time getting myself away from it like games like this really engage me man so i mean i'm i'm, I'm thinking i should probably stay far away i mean not to disrespect the series i understand it's a it's a goliath when it comes to um like secondary life games and whatnot but holy shit man i know this game is gonna consume me it looks awesome though the Sims 69 confirmed? What the hell, dudes? A new Isabella Mabel I know, people are hyped about that. Saying that it does look like Mario Party. Definitely can see why you think that. Well, oh, some more Yoshi's Woolly World now? Oh, come on. Some people are saying this is the worst EQB ever. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, there's, some, there's some cool titles announced. Hi, I'm Emi Watanabe, and I work in software planning and development talking about department the at now. Nintendo. And I am a coordinator. I work with developers in making Nintendo games. I've worked on Kirby's Epic Yarn with the same developer. And I was in charge of designing Yoshi's Woolly World with Tezuka-san. Working with Tezuka-san is very inspirational. He is the leader of this project. At the same time, he has the perspectives of the player. So he has both elements, the leader and the player. <laughs> At first, I decided yeah, to make some Yoshi release, um, just for fun. Yeah, it's because coming out this year. I'm not a programmer um, or an artist, December so or I wasn't able to make something in the actual game. So, and the development team was really, really working hard. So I thought to myself, oh, is there anything that I can do in some way to help this game? I went home and got some yarn <laughs> and I decided to make my very first yarn Yoshi. When I brought it back to the office, uh, the smiles on the face of my colleagues really struck me. There was this proposal made at Nintendo saying that maybe for a game like this, um, a plushy amiibo would be more fun to have because you know, it goes well with the vibe of the game. And when I heard that, I fell in love with that idea and decided to make more Yarn Yoshi prototypes. Yoshi himself is made of yarn. 
the shape of his body transforms into different shapes. So he turns into like a propeller when you jump and he turns into a mallet when he does the ground pound. But also the world itself is in yarn and fabrics and lots of textiles. Like telling us we a lot of stuff that we already knew. You unravel, and you can also knit platforms and in this game the Pretty enemies cool. are made of yarn as well. So when your she swallows them, we see that them, before, they turn you can, like, into the little platforms? yarn balls instead of eggs. Well, most of all, we want the game to be fun. Yoshi's Woolly World provides plenty of challenge if you try to go Does she come with every copy of Yoshi's Woolly World? Does she came but with every copy? Yo. But to <laughs> have lots and lots of people enjoy the game, and those lots of people have different expectations on the difficulty of the game. And for us, um, what's so special about Yoshi games is that the difficulty level is all up to the player because if you just want to have Damn, fun... Damn, son, where'd you, you find this? ...run through the levels. If you think you're a more advanced Thank player, you, you can you. set the challenge a little we'll higher by collecting lots of items, and that provides plenty of challenge in this game. She is cute, We are though. very confident that the game provides both the challenge and the fun. Yes, I will be staying for Square Enix. I will be. Its co-op mode is designed so that the user can decide how they want to play with their friend. So you can either cooperate with your friend, you can help each other out, you can swallow the other Yoshi, turn it into so the ball, and then throw it to high areas so that the other Yoshi can reach that area. So you can do a Game little bit so of a competition cute. with your friend. You can be a little mean. If you have an amiibo, and if you use it in Yoshi's Woolly World, then Yoshi's design turns into that amiibo character. So for example, if you have a Mario amiibo, you can get a Mario Yoshi. I still think that one is kind of weird looking. a Yoshi in Mario pattern, in Mario design. <laughs> so, so if you have an amiibo at home, maybe you can have fun trying out different characters. Okay. It is cute. I in mean, we already game, saw this, when but... When we turned Pucci into Yarn, he was really cute. <laughs> So that's why we decided to have him again in this game. He barks when there's an important item around you. So he's a quite useful companion to have. Even after you clear the level, it's really fun to go back, revisit that level because there's always something that you missed out on. You always find something new. It would be great if you can collect all the items in one go, but that Someone is said, quite I want to put my dick in the so, yarn? Um, what I the hope fuck, people can nigga? enjoy playing the same level Come over on. and over again. <laughs> Most of all, I want people to feel happy so when playing this game. Hey. Oh, they're bringing um, yo Yokai Watch to America? This is definitely Yokai Watch. And they're not even changing the title of it. As you can see, the hashtag Yokai Watch. Hashtag Yokai Watch. This is like the, the new Pokemon in Japan right now. Pretty damn hype. This is the line. Think you understand Yokai a little better now? Got on. They got on to a region. They got onto making this game region friendly real fast, man. It's selling super well in Japan right now. Do your thing. So That's a little bit too kiddie for kid me, me, but I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of you that are interested. That'll evil yokai. The style puts me in mind of um, Shimigami Tensei. The Pokemon killer, some people are saying. Someone said I want to put my dick in him. Just chill, just chill, please. Just chill. So many games coming out in December around that time. But Yokai Watch getting getting translated so fast, man. Very impressive. <laughs> what? What are we seeing here, New Paper Mario? <laughs> what the hell? Holy shit! Holy shit, some of you may not know it, but Paper Mario, I, I played it a little bit, I find it fun. So I mean, holy crap, yo, what is going on? Mario Superstar Saga and Paper Mario combined? Wow. Whoa, whoa. Holy crap.
Yo. This looks pretty cool. What the hell is this? This shit looks crazy. And I'm not even into Mario that much, but this shit looks fun. Mario and Luigi Paper Jam. So it's going to be fitting in that same um, RPG style that those um, Superstar Saga type games usually fit in. And we got a new Mario Tennis game as well too, man. A lot of reason to be hyped. Does that mean a possible Paper Mario game too? Maybe. Yo. It was okay when the only Peach was big, but I mean, I... hey, let's go, Peach. Really cool stuff, man. When's the last time we've seen a Mario Tennis game? Why is the whole, I want to put my dick in it, a thing now? Like, that's so crazy. You don't want to put your dick inside a paper. We've been working together for 30 years now. If there's three ideas presented to both of us, we pick the same one. As the years went on and we made more and more side-scrolling games, we had to create a more advanced tool to design them with. This became the basis of Super Mario Maker. The tool got so good that the more we worked with it, the more we realized we could also turn it into something everyone could enjoy. With Super Mario Maker, anytime you make an edit, you can see the results right away. This instant feedback can really help your imagination run wild. Back yeah, in the I day, we had to create everything by hand. To design courses, we would actually draw them one at a time onto these sheets of graph paper. Damn. We'd then hand our drawings to the programmers, who would code them into a build. While digging up these old documents, we found this. It's very precious. When we first thought of the idea of Super Mario Brothers, we had a concept of land, air, and sea. Really now. Yeah, the, the, his voice. The See English this old sketch of Mario voice? throwing nice. fireballs from I mean, a moving cloud? I mean, you no, can now do that in Super Mario right. Maker. His voice you can really even crazy. control where the cloud flies. Very cool. In the old days, when we needed to fix or change part of the course, it would get really messy if we tried to edit the original drawing. So we'd put this see-through paper on top to make edits. A lot of things might look familiar but you can combine various elements from the different games to create entirely new stuff. Like stacking different enemies on top of each other to make a huge tower, and then putting a bullet bill on top. That's just probably the beginning of what you could do. This game looks so cool in the World Championships, man. I don't like Mario, but I'm underwater. saying it look cool. Right, there are some enemies that don't normally appear underwater, like Goombas. When you put one underwater in Super Mario Maker, it will swim like a small shrimp. Mario can even take on the appearance of other characters. Someone said Tap that a compatible worth amiibo, 500, like Wii Fit Trainer. Definitely. And Mario can turn into Wii Fit Trainer when he gets a mystery mushroom. What it's called Costume Mario. We have a lot of these planned. To celebrate Super the Mario's 30th Wii anniversary, Wii we're releasing an 8-bit amiibo. When you use it, your Mario in-game is going to appear a bit bigger. The Amiibo that? itself is pretty big too, to reflect the effect in the game. There's also a Super oh. Mario Maker booklet. The booklet has a lot that of sample amiibo. courses. It's really fun just looking at them, as if this is what would happen if you design the world of Mario in real life. That Amiibo, yo, holy crap. Most times, I start by making a course I want to play, which is usually like a 2-1 or 2-2. Two, two. Once that's done, <laughs> we try Yo, to stop. make it a Just little easier. Chill, 
So we move on to making one one. It's always like that. I may come across as a mean person by saying this, but in one one, there's a Goomba, which is clearly an enemy, but there's also a super mushroom and you might run when you first see it. You run, but there's a block above, so you can't run. So if you jump, the ceiling is low, so you usually hit it. But when you do, you grow big. It's a surprise. They'll probably make 10 of those amiibo. Yeah, there probably. There are stairs. Probably. But there are gaps. 10 worldwide. <laughs> but the first gap has a floor. And the second one is the one you want to avoid because it's bottomless. So it's hey, a put tutorial your dick in the amiibo. It's blocked. We put a lot of thought into those types of things. When Damn, son, where'd you find time, this? It's a challenge to run and jump at the same time. William, New thank you for the donation, man. Fall into um, the first I, pit because I'm going to try to look back into it later on. But they learn from it. They usually fall I can't pull into it up because right now. they can't Sorry, make it. But thank you, though, man. It's like game design training software. Try it if you want to get into game design. <laughs> Someone said, guess what else is With big now? Practice, oh, anyone can you. become a good course no, designer. <laughs> I'm going to try that Earlier game Earlier I man. said that Nintendo's I'm, I'm experience excited. for E3 is all about transformation. And while we've given you a sneak peek of some of our games coming later in 2015, there's still much more to share. Next, Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3 begins. We'll kick off with Mr. Miyamoto and fellow developers flying through Star Fox Zero. And if you can't wait to get your hands on Super Mario Maker, the opportunity is right in front of you. On Wednesday from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. and Saturday from noon until 5 p.m. local time, you can walk into any of more than 100 Best Buy stores in the US and Canada and experience the game for yourself firsthand. Yeah. You can Very find cool. the details of all of our activities this week at e3.nintendo.com. To close, as anyone transforms, be it a person or a company, it's good to reflect on where you've been to help guide where you go next. Over the past 30 years, more than a billion people around the world have played a Nintendo game. And most of them have played as gaming's biggest star, Mario. Mario. From the music, to the costumes, to the characters, Super Mario isn't just Nintendo's mascot. There's a little piece of him and certainly memories of his adventures inside all of us. me. This Mario Maker title actually has a really good point, man. Like it, it just, it just pulls out that part of you. Like it, there's, there's some kind of like primal gaming instinct that just gets pulled out of you when you see that Mario Maker, man. I mean, all of us have to connect this to Mario in some form or fashion. You know, even a person like me who claims not to be that big of a Mario fan, I can see exactly what Reggie's talking about here. And to be honest, man, he has a very good point. A really good point. Mario is in the hearts of everybody in some form or fashion. And if it isn't Mario, it be somebody else from the Mario series, you know? Reggie, ha Reggie really hit home with that one. Let's go! Damn, 30 years. Holy oh, crap. Yeah, no new Splatoon information yet? What's going on here?
No Pokemon in those. Yeah, I know, right? That kind of sucks. Damn, so really son, cool. where'd you find this? Got Brian with a dollar, man. Thank you. Oh, wait, and, and you sent the penis into the chat, man. It's always appreciated. Thank you, Brian. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Prince Passive with a dollar. That's Twitter hype. Yo. Thank you for that, man. Prince Passive, always on top of it. That's Super Mario. Now it's your turn. Visit LetSuperMario.com and help us celebrate his 30th anniversary by submitting your own Super Mario video. And do it for a good cause, with Nintendo making a donation to the nonprofit group Operation Smile. Visit our site for details. Let's have some fun, let's support a great cause, and let's Super Mario. <laughs> So they're donating to um, charity as well too. And in every video that you make, Nintendo will make a contribution to that charity that you mentioned. So yeah, by all means, man, this is definitely a feel-good kind of thing. Really good way to celebrate and at the same time kind of feel like you're doing something to help somebody else out, you know? It, it's definitely cool. Definitely cool. If, if anything, I mean, I think this is the first time Nintendo's really announced something like this in the direct. Go. Um, it seems like the Splatoon leaks weren't real. Oh, my nigga Bill. Hello, Big Bill. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. And my dude Miyamoto. Thank you for watching Nintendo Digital Event. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Oh, man, no. please, Reggie. Be, be gentle with me, man. So, our digital event today focused entirely on games that are launching in 2015 oh, Bill was fired. and early 2016. And as we showed at E3 last year, we have many gamepad games for Wii U that we introduced there that are continuing in development. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Mario RPG, I was like, you fucking know it. Yeah, I know, right? That, that one, holy crap. My roommate was watching the event with me called. And so we've introduced um, games Kamali's like that Moon use Amiibo Wi and games really? like Splatoon, and we've shown Star Fox for this year, and we've got more coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Thank you for the dollar, dude. And, um, yeah, I agree, man. That was the uh, biggest, biggest surprise. Well, besides Star Fox. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Aonuma-san is not here at E3, and that's because he is back at Nintendo, hard at work on his next game, and as soon as the show is over, I'm going to be going back to help him out with it as well. And so now what we're going to do is jump right into gameplay straight from Star Fox Zero. But I think maybe rather than having me play it, we should have our Nintendo okay, Treehouse so Live Treehouse. staff here play it. Right, guys. Uh, so that was it for the direct, man. Um, I'm not going to be doing a reaction to the... Um, to the Treehouse because we have to prepare for the Square Enix E3 presentation that's going down very shortly. Um, so, if anything, guys, we are going to end the stream now. Damn, and I will see son, you in where'd a few you find minutes. this? Tongue my anus, donated a dollar. I well, you know, right now I'm going to be preoccupied with doing the Square Enix um, live stream, man. Thank you for the dollar, but I won't be able to tongue your asshole this time. But I'll see you guys in a few minutes for the E3 presentation for Square Enix. So I'll see you then, guys. Um, this was an interesting direct. I'll give you my thoughts on it later. But take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn a good one.